Well, you know, Chris Rock is all that. Please welcome the fabulous and amazing and wonderful actor, Chris Rock. Before we start Thank to talk you. about you a little bit, you, we're, uh, we've been talking about uh, Breonna Taylor this morning and how, you know, no one was charged uh, in her death. And then we see that piece that we just showed, the clip that we just showed, and it, it just feels like <laughs> we're just having to relive all of this over and over and over. Does it feel like that to you a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's a shame that we're so used to what happened, you know? You know, it's almost not news. Like, news is supposed to be things that are out of the ordinary that happen every day, mm. not things that happen every day. And, right. yeah, the, 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 unfortunately, a story like Breonna Taylor is just so common. And, yeah, it's just, it's so sad. I, I, you know, it's so sad. I feel for everyone, you know, everyone involved. Yeah. Wow. It's true. It's been Joy. quite a while set with, with Wolf. It's been quite a while with Wolf Blitzer saying breaking news. Every day is breaking news and, and since Trump has been in office. But um, <clears throat> I want to talk about your uh, stand-up special because in 2018, uh, it called, it's called Tambourine. It went viral again this year <laughs> because of the observations you made about race and the police in this country. Um, before we continue talking about it, let's take a look at it so people know what we're talking about. I know it's hard being a cop. I know it's hard. I know that it's dangerous. I know it is, okay? But some jobs can't have bad apples, okay? Some jobs, everybody got to be good. Like pilots. <laughs> you know? American Airlines can't be like, you know, most of our pilots like to land. <laughs> We just got a few bad apples <laughs> that like to crash in the mountains. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> duh. But uh, it's always the truth. It's always the funniest, Chris, you know. But, you know, we would like to not have bad apples with cops and, and, and teachers and doctors and pilots. But unfortunately, most professions have some bad apples in them. What do you think we can do about those, those bad apples? Uh, you know... You know, it's weird. Everybody, and I, I don't want to say names, but we, everybody's getting mad at a lot of people for having hostile work environments, right? And mm -hmm. the reality is the police, it's, it's a hostile work environment if you're a black person. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, it's just, it's a hostile work environment to, to get pulled over. It's a hostile work environment to, to live in certain neighborhoods, you know? Uh, it'd be nice if we had the same resources that people have <laughs> that work on TV shows and stuff. It's like, that's all we're complaining about. It's a hostile environment. How can we change this? I yeah. know, it's true. <laughs> it's silly sometimes. And, yeah. you know, and... Especially in these days when everybody had to put everything on pause this year, you know, I mean, I, I haven't been out working in quite some time in, in any, you know, I love a casino, but I've, you know, I haven't been casino free <laughs> forever. But you, <laughs> you went and did a show with Chappelle and it was socially distant and all the, all the stuff it was supposed to be was outdoor and in Ohio. And much like when you hear you were doing Fargo, it's like, Ohio? Fargo? What? So what, what has this been like for, for you? Well, you know, Dave, <laughs> Dave, the Honorable Dave Chappelle, as I call him now, uh, you know, he's got a, he lives in a Yellow Springs, Ohio, and he, he owns a bunch of land. So he built a stage and, you know, like, like almost an amphitheater, whatever. I don't know how you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And we perform in front of a socially distant audience. Um, you land, as you can see, the plane lands, and you go right to the COVID testing facility. And all right. the performers, we all get tested, and you get our, you get your results, 
and then you get a wristband. You know, once you're negative, you get a wristband, right. and now you can hang out in the club. So, you know, right. Kevin Hart's been up there, and Bill Burr's been up there. Like, a lot of people have been up there, and we kind of perform right. every kind of weekend. You go to Dave's house, you, know, you stay with right. Dave, and, you know, you know, there's a lot of weed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, if you like mushrooms, then they are. And... And you know, <laughs> a good time is had by all. Nice, nice. So, okay, love Joy. It. Whoopi, you it sounds, love it, Whoopi. So, at least somebody's somebody's having fun. So, um, let's talk That's about right. this. Invite me. This is interesting. Okay, <laughs> Whoopi, come this way. I, you know, performing, this coming performing up. outdoors. Performing outdoors two weeks. is a nightmare. Give me two, I remember doing it. It's at horror. Um, so. Listen, uh, Chris, you recently <laughs> opened up about going to therapy for the first time. I'm so impressed with that. And being di you were diagnosed with something called a nonverbal learning disorder. What is that? What is that? Is that like dyslexia, sort of like a learning disorder like that? How is it, and how has it affected you throughout your life? Tell us. Um, okay, how do I explain it? It's like a friend of mine said, I may have Asperger's. And... I got myself tested, so I had to go through uh, this, um, this, uh, what's, what's the word? Um, I, uh, you know, ooh. I had to get battery tested. Test. In a, battery of tests? Yeah, battery of tests. So, like, nine hours of tests. Like, like tests yeah. you would give whatever, right? And right. they came back and they said, you don't have Asperger's, but you have something very close to it. And it's called oh. uh, NVLD. Nonverbal learning disorder. And one of the things is I have a hard time picking up social cues. Like when I talk to people, mm. I hear the words, but if you're mad at me, if you're feeling a certain way, I might have a hard time picking that up. And it's here's it's really great. I'm talking like Joe Boy's here right now. Cause I remember when I was young, every now and then Joy and uh, Susie Essman would pull me to the side and like kind of give mm -hmm. me like etiquette lesson and kind of like, like, dude, right. what's up with you? You're not like asking questions. You're not like, so they even knew back then yeah. I was a little off. Am I, Joy, you am know, I making this up? Can I One time, no, no, you're not, you're not. One time, you're such a sweet guy, you know, I said to you, I need to go home and I don't have a lift. Can you give me a lift home? And there you were with your convertible and your fabulous, you were still, you were already a star. And I said, would you give me a ride home? So you, you said, sure, get in the car. And the whole ride, you were on the phone talking to somebody else. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess I'm not here right now. That might be an example of a social distancing, uh, uh, what's the word, a miscommunication problem there. But Asperger's, no, not that bad. It's well, not quite that okay. bad, but well, it's, no. uh, yeah, I'm just, we, I process information kind of slow. I hear everything, I remember everything, but I, it's just yeah. my reaction time is kind of slow. And I didn't know I had it, so there was a lot of anxiety, right. you know what I mean? Because I was just like, what's wrong yeah. with me? So I'm like, I, I, right. I used to have like this squirrel-like energy where like, like a squirrel, right. you can't sneak up on a squirrel. It's always alert. He's scared <laughs> all the time. And yeah. that's gone. I'm much more relaxed now. I'm, I'm actually easier to be around. So if you're around me now. Well, okay, so Don't, look. You know what, Chris? I'm around, we're around you, know you now. You wait, 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 hold up. Wait, so Joy, 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 stop. We have to go. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 